And now he's even determined to talk about the leader. Uh, to talk about this to the leader. He's going to ask about what we do. That's amazing. You know, this is the most inspiring grunt of any team in any Pokemon game. This guy right here. Okay. I'm right back here on the beach. Still just watching this lame guy trying to train the Whalmer. Booger's occasionally taunting him. Occasionally letting Seeda stick out and do a bullet seat on one of the Whalmer. <laughs> just being obnoxious. Anyway, shortly after I stopped playing last time, I realized something. Which is that I assumed incorrectly that I didn't have strength and also that I couldn't use it. Both of those were wrong. I have HMO4 and I can use it and I will use it. Back here. So it was a case of me literally not knowing my own strength. Because I had it, and I could have used it. Had the strength, could have used the strength. I knew neither. And fortunately for me, I already own a very strong shark named Sinfin. A Sharpedo. And he has a very high attack, and no moral compass. So he will use strength, and it'll work great. Both on the battlefield and off. Finally get rid of rage. Basically the only move I think I care about that a Sharpedo learns naturally is Crunch. I don't think I will have it learn any other of its naturally learned moves long term. Anyway. I do have business on Mount Chimney, but before that I remember a place Place on fiery path where I could have used strength before, if I had had it. So let's see what's there first. Then I'll investigate Mount Chimney. And I'm very excited, because that means we're going to see what Maxi's up to. What Team Magma are doing in their volcano hideout. That's such classic supervillain stuff. Hide out in a volcano. if somebody blocked off this TM in this cave behind a bunch of heavy boulders in an inhospitable place since it was so dangerous it couldn't be used. Toxic is a very deadly poison. My bake snake, my survivor, has it. Uh, you know, just as a side effect of one of its moves. Poison fang. No big deal. Just Totally a deadly, awesome Pokemon, that's all. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Pokemon has simple sound effects, but they're still satisfying.
One more thing. Firestone. Oh. Getting quite a collection of stones. Steven would be jealous. Steven! <laughs> well, I should probably just go deposit that since I won't be using it. I won't be catching any fire Pokemon that would use it. Or an Eevee. Which I don't think you can even get without trading in this game. As far as I know. I've never really tried to look for an Eevee in this game. Too busy training Generation 3 Hoenn Pokemon. Maybe you could get one somewhere, though. You never know. Sometimes a rare Pokemon is given as a gift. Or someone in a game will trade you it. Or if you're playing the Generation 1 Pokemon games, you can just do the Mew Glitch and get any Pokemon in the game as a wild encounter. I think the Generation 1 Pokemon games might be the only video games I've ever played that I, like, really value the glitchiness of as an addition to the game. <laughs> like, it's not something to be complained about. It's to be embraced. It's a good thing that you can glitch a wild encounter with a Jinx or a Mr. Mime. Or Mew. Anything. You can make any Pokemon team you want. And they don't get some stupid trainer's name and ID number permanently on their record. I hate I hated that always. I want my Pokemon to have only my signs of ownership on them. <laughs> Isn't it terrible how we treat Pokemon? Just Putting ID numbers on them all. Okay. Oh well. It's fun though. Pokemon battles are fun, so it's okay. I'm just gonna heal real quick. Then I'm gonna go in that cave. That cave hidden in a boulder on the side of the volcano. Mount Chimney. I still have my volcano climbing bike, right? Always bring your volcano climbing bike. You're gonna climb a volcano. Hop right in there. Excellent. No one saw that. That didn't stand out at all. So I walked right in here and didn't even know I could do this. I just kind of forgot. I haven't played a Hoenn Jenner 3. Pokemon game in a while. Or rather, what I should say is I haven't played these games often enough to remember where everything is every time. Play through. Somewhere up there. This is brand new territory for me. Never been here in any game. I don't think it exists as a place in Sapphire. It's an 
entrance up there. Just a little, you know, just wondering if they might have fire types. They're criminals, evil guys in a volcano. They might have fire types. They're named Team Magma. Oh boy, I can't wait to know what they found. It's going to tell us when we beat him. Hmm. Not a fire type. I guess a lot of them do have dark types. Try the new strength move. Effective. They <laughs> approve. Not a waste having a move slot taken by that HM. Not in sin fins, capable fins. I wonder what using strength actually looks like for a Sharpedo. You won't tell us! Fuck you, you lying piece of shit. Oh, uh, actually, wait. Okay, I take it back. You're right. It's good to save surprises to the end. It's good to have a build up. Damn it. He totally countered my being taken aback by him not telling me the ultimate point. <laughs> what is this? What do they have down here? What is this shit? There's a ledge I can jump down from, but that's just a one-way passage in this room. Graveler here? Wow. Level 32, Graveler. This is really so exciting. It's been so long since I've explored like a brand new place in a Pokemon game, and I'm doing it right now. I'm treasuring the moment, you know? Just trying to get the most out of it, taking it in the place. Yes, I am that easily amused. Yes, I am that into Pokemon. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't waltzing. wasn't wasn't gonna waltz. Do you want me to waltz? If I waltz by you, will you let me pass by peacefully? I give you a little show, a little dance. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah. Just let Sinfin take care of this new mole. Just, just crunch it. A waste of your one turn. just how many of these guys there are here. I offered to waltz by you if you wanted to see that. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm familiar with that time signature. Things in three. I 
can do it. I have good rhythm. <laughs> mm. Wow, they're just patrolling down there. I must fight them all. But I have the Magma Emblem! I'm legit, I'm just undercover. Dressed as a little dorky kid. This one's Sherp. She saw through Booger's disguise. Well, if you can call the Magma Emblem a disguise. It's just kind of a really lazy attempt to Convince them I'm one of them, really. Alright, this is a battle of two kind of strong dark types. Ooh, that's interesting. Should I gamble? Should I gamble and see if I hurt myself or it with my raised attack? Ooh. I'm gonna gamble. Then Finn has no moral compass, it gambles. Ugh, and it loses sometimes. That hurts. But it keeps gambling because no moral compass. Damn! Okay. I'm bailing you out, Sin Finn. Bailing you out. With C just it. How dare you! Insolent Mightyena! Oh. Well, this is who you dragged out? You dragged out Helican. You dragged out a Pokemon named Helican. You're not too smart, Mightyena. It's not too smart. The name is a warning. It's called Helican because it's a Helican from Hell. Like I meant, it's kind of a literal nickname. It at least has meaning. If I suffer from chills, what does that mean? What sort of disease would give me chills, and why would having that disease demand that I join Team Magma? They have very confusing plots and beliefs. That's what I'm learning. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and heal Sinfen. music in here. I also like the little pattern these guys run in. I just broke it up. wonder how long it takes them to get that in sync. A ball toy? I didn't know you had ball toy. You are a very interesting nature cult, Team Magma. Your ball toy can be crunched, though. Uh, you sell again. Give it the tidal wave. The tidal wave of ultimate destruction. Or 
Or maybe surf is more like a tsunami. Maybe I should say more like a tsunami. Hmm. Seems like to kind of be... Seems like that's kind of how it works. But it's animation's luck at least. I'm gonna catch him next time. <laughs> Shit! Okay, I can't catch him. You're too fast. I was trying to press A to talk to him right at the split second he was next to me. Those stat increases. Really nice. A Zubat. Oh, I actually trained um, a Zubat when I played Sapphire not too long ago. I even evolved it into a Crobat and used it on my team like long term. Taught it fly and everything. It was a very helpful Pokemon. I've always been a fan of Golbat and Crobat. They're good. What do you say? No, you're free. You're free of that now. But I know he's probably going to be still running in a circle next time I'm in this room. Because he'll feel self-conscious and he'll like feel like he's not doing anything, and he'll want to look busy. If anybody asks him, you know, uh, hey, what are you doing? It'll let him easily cover up that his Pokemon are all dead, you know? And that he can't actually function as a guard anymore. Just to put on the show of running around in a circle menacingly. This shit happens in any workplace. Team Magma, I know it's not going to be any different. You gotta cover your ass. <laughs> if your Pokemon are taken out by a little kid. And you're a guard. And this guy, look at his post. His left ear is being burnt off by searing hot magma that is next to him. He didn't think Team Magma was like such a literal name. Victim of a uh, dangerous workplace now. With this crazy nature cult. And now he's probably dehydrated. Heat exhaustion. I do. I think, I think, I think you should contact Human Resources. <laughs> You're being made to wear a hood next to Magma, and your ear's still burning off. Go ahead and use another super potion on Sinfin. I care about Sinfin. And it lives loose and dangerous, so. Gotta take care of it. Take care of it, since it doesn't take care of itself, always. What Pokemon do you have for me to destroy? A ball toy. <laughs> oh, appropriate that its name rhymes with destroy. 
which I will do to it with crunch. Critical crunch. Just to overkill. That's right, not to be trusted. You can't trust Booger. Oh, so they say the other nature cult is lying. How can I believe either of them? Especially when they treat their workers poorly enough to make them stand next to magma till their ears burn off. Inhumane treatment of workers. Where are their ethics? It's probably not good for that machinery to be close to magma too. I mean, unless it's meant to be designed to work in the heat. What are these, drills? It looks like if I step between these two things, I would like, <laughs> I don't know. It would be a trap and they would impale me. Okay. Can't see what they are. Weird. They have a Groudon? Was that the secret that was supposed to be saved until the end? Did this guy just give me a spoiler that I wasn't supposed to get? So many ball toady crunch. One after the other. Give me something else. Sinfin wants a varied diet. And just one ball toy. Impossible to win also if you don't have anything but a damn ball toy. Dumbass. You don't even know if it has a tail. I know that it has a tail. And I'm just some dumb little kid named Debugger. I didn't forget anything up here, did I? I'll make this as quick as I can. Felt like there was another entrance or something over here. I like use a repel, hold on. This is too insufferable. You damn Geodude. Fuck off, Geodude. This is absurd. Lay off. Just go fuck off and do Geodude shit. That isn't bothering me. I just sprayed that Geodude. <laughs> yeah, there's a room here. PP Max? What is this? I've never found PP Max. PP Max? Is that better than PP Up? I've never found this in any Pokemon game I've ever played in my life, and I've played a decent few. It raises it to its maximum. Maximum. Wow. That seems like an incredibly good find, and I'm glad I came back here. It's a guy to fight, too. Like, imagine if I tossed Sea Dust at Giga Drain and then gave it PP Max on the Giga Drain. So it could just Giga Drain the shit out of everything to its twisted little heart's content. 
It would love that. That would be like a present. Christmas present for it. Ha. Huh. Might have to do that. I spoil my Pokemon. Taking a pinch of Pokemon, ripping off someone's meteorite. He actually has second thoughts. Wow. He's having an ethical inner conflict. Wow. That's deep. He's actually thinking about and like reflecting on his team's actions throughout the game. He's actually reflecting on them and thinking maybe we did some messed up shit. That's admirable. What's this grunt's name? I want to know who this grunt is. <laughs> he seems more thoughtful than the rest. Again. And again they bring out the Helican. What is with them and wanting a Helican to destroy them? Here you go. You're welcome. Deadly wing attack. Death from the skies. You're welcome, I guess. You asked for it. He still thinks they're doing something wrong. He's convinced now. He went from reflecting to now he's convinced he's in the wrong. How's that for character development? All in the span of meeting this guy. And now losing has cleared his mind. And now he's even determined to talk about the leader. To talk about this to the leader. gonna ask about what we do that's amazing you know this is the most inspiring grunt of any team in any Pokemon game this guy right here best grunt ever right there right, right here amazing he just he just gave us a full character arc of character development that would be seen throughout an entire game often just over the course of meeting him and battling him in a Pokemon battle. That's mind blowing. And I got PP Max in that room. That's that's very very nice. Oh, is this a double battle? Who would I send in? I kind of want. Send in my grass type terror twins. Both grass dark type, actually. It is a double battle. Hey, that one sh stole my catchphrase of soon I gave in an interview recently. Probably saw my broadcast, copied me. You saw my interview. You saw Boogier's interview where she said soon, ominously to the world. You're just copycats. It was on TV, televised across across Owen. Okay, we can handle this. Do a little that to the Zubat. You know, just faint attack them all. Just faint attack everybody. Oh, critical faint attack. They each KO'd their target. 
I'm so proud of them. They've become so deadly. I love you, Sadistic. I love you, Wactus. Swagger? Hmm. It's getting swagger, if I let it. Hmm. Hmm. Well. What I'll say is I'm not going to stick with Torment long term. It's an amusing move, but ultimately I have to stick with what's the most useful move. And I think I might actually do that. Let it get some swagger. It's level 43, it deserves to have some swagger at its age. One more match. You need to revive. You want to have another match. Oh, is he talking on the phone to Maxi? Does that mean I'm close to Maxi? I'm excited to meet him again. I met him all too briefly in this game. I'd like to see more of him. Step ahead. Did they drill into a volcano to wake up a Groudon? I mean, it's still sleeping apparently. He went to Groudon. He is awakening it. Oh, it's an admin. Tabitha. Only level 26. You better have something better than that. At least evolved or something. A Zubat? She's got four turtle. Your Zubat isn't gonna cut it. Watch it get KO'd in one hit. Called it. And a critical hit. Mighty Yana. I'm going to just show off Cedar Stick for a moment. And embarrass this admin. Could rock smash it, but it lowered my attack. Well, it seed will be enough, I feel. Unless it roars. Oh, Actus! Good choice for your oblivion. Yeah, I have pin missile. Your roar was your undoing. Unless I only hit two times. So anticlimactic when you hit two times and it's short one hit of killing your opponent. <laughs> that's just. That's aggravating. Bam whacked us running out of pin missiles. Row more pins so you can do it more. Consecutively. A camera route. That's interesting. I have, a, I have an easy solution for that, though. The Kamarupt is extremely vulnerable to tsunamis. <laughs> Just gets washed away. Well, you amused me a little bit. More than the average grunt.
So Groudon's already awake, huh? It's a little concerning, potentially. I wonder if I'm actually gonna battle Maxi. Survive. Good find. So this turned out to be a fairly large hideout. <gasps> Look! That's him! It's Faxi! And that looks like a Groudon that's about to be awakened. You can tell it's sleeping by its black and white color. Pokemon gain color when they wake up. In, po in old Pokemon games. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. Better make sure my Pokemon are good. Good. We're good. Let's go. Groudon! Nothing could awaken you from your sleep bed in the magma. This blue orb is what you thought, wasn't it? I have brought you the blue orb. Let it shine, awaken you. And show me, show me the full extent of your power. What have you done, Maxi? Oh no. Groudon! What's wrong? Wasn't the brewer the key? Groudon! Where have you gone? He seems distressed. Oh. So it was you. I've seen your poking world and invited here and there. I get it now. You must have pulled a cheap stunt. I pulled no stunt, Maxi. What the hell are you talking about? I think you've lost it. Well, we are battling him. And he has a level 37 Mediana, wow. That's a little intimidating. Well, rock smash it. Got his defense down. It's missing. Keep rock smashing. Swagger. Okay. You're gonna swagger. Hmm. That tells me to keep rock smashing. Oof. If I do hit him, it'll be highly effective. So he slowed me down. Go ahead and try it again. Lucky that missed. Lucky the confusion ended. Oh, the swagger. Was it worth it, Maxi? Perhaps not. Withdrew it. No way, he has a crowbat? Impressive. Well, I'm not going to leave a grass type in with a crowbat. Crowbat is the worst enemy of a grass type. You absolutely do not want to fight a crowbat with a grass type. So, honestly, it's a little concerning he has a crowbat. I must send in. Um. 
how can I think? My flyer versus yours. We're about evenly matched in level 2. This is a good battle. Go ahead and try surfing. I'm worried about that getting a critical hit. I know from being a crowbat trainer when I trained one recently. That move has a high critical hit ratio. Go ahead and surf again. He has a super potion. He doesn't even have a hyper potion like a cool trainer would. You'd think leader of Team Magma, he would have a hyper potion? I don't know. Maybe they're poor. You hard up, Maxi. Wow, critical hit. Still hung in there. I'm taking the scrobat very seriously. So I'm gonna use a hyper potion. Try to finish it off. Oh no! He's trying to mix it up. He's trying to throw a wrench in my plane to finish it off. Fight through hell again. Don't be confused. Good. Alright, he's got his camera wrapped out next. Pelican's confused though. And that's actually problematic because, well... What could a camera up to do to a Pelipper, realistically? Probably nothing. Let's leave it in. Best equipped to take any attack from this thing, most likely. Excellent. It's gone. What a valuable member of my team this Pelipper is. And now the Mighty Yenna. I have something for it. Wactus has gotten not that many chances to shine. Now you can't switch out. And your Mighty Yenna is also weakened. Really anybody could have killed this thing. Oh, a super potion again? Only two hits again? Come on, Wactus. You can do better. Give me three, at least. One. Two. Three. Ah. Still short. You know, if you got three hits the last time, it would be dead right now, Wactus. Not trying to put you down, but... We could have been there already, you know? You're making this take longer. And now it used his swagger. Wactus, you wouldn't be confused right now if you had just hit more than you did with Pen Mizzle. Good. See, it hurt me. Wactus is serious. That's literally its nature, so... It takes criticism seriously. What makes you so adept at handling Pokemon? There has been some reason, Gordon Fred. That's what you're trying to say, aren't you? Hmm. Do you think I didn't know that? With Gordon gone, there is no longer any need for this blasted volcano. I am going after Guerdon, so this is where we part. 
Well, that was sudden. We'll just pack up and take your toys home, Maxie. Jeez. Okay. A repulse effect wore off. It was an effect that held done. Hmm. Groudon just ran away, I guess. That's Groudon's reaction when it woke up and saw Maxi and Booger. <laughs> Those two? It. got the fuck out. <laughs> It ran. <laughs> it's on the other side of a when now. I'd run too from those that pair. Oh, that was just a path to the top, and now I'm here again. Well, now what? What if I go here? Has anything changed? It looks like the place is evacuated now. Maybe I should just escape rope. If they've all run away, maybe this place is about to blow. <laughs> maybe the volcano is about to erupt. I should probably leave. Fast. Where am I escape rope? Keep rips. There they are. Maybe I should just look at the top here. Make sure nothing's going on. happening. Looks normal. Hmm. Well, interesting. There wasn't a huge climax there. But I assume we'll see Maxi again at some point. I wonder if the guy in Lily Cove training those whalers is finally done training them. Let's see if he's finally done anything. Maybe he's out of here. Hopefully, he is. I'll heal real quick. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what else to do. Grunts are still there. Oh, shit. He's still there. Well, what about the guys in here? If I'm remembering right, I think I had to take care of this aqua hideout. Basically, go bust it up before that guy finished training as a whale mer. Gone off to jack a submarine. Wait a minute, this is familiar. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Maybe it was uh, after I go see Archie steal a submarine. Yeah. No need to tell me, I already know. I know why Archie stole or went to Slateport. I almost just said it. But we'll see in just a moment. Hmm. 
Yep. This wasn't here before. There's a spectacle. You better go check on a submarine. That's all I have to say. Oh. That old lady just burned to Captain Stern. She thought it was a star? Oh no, it's just Captain Stern. That's what she basically just inferred. Brutal. He's getting heckled by this crowd. This guy just wants a fish to cook. This person is more interested in the, inter in the interviewer than the person being interviewed. <laughs> this person just wants to be on TV. <laughs> One fan. One fan of Captain Stern in this crowd. Look at this. That's sad. I feel sorry for Captain Stern. I see, I see, you've had a most vi invaluable experience. I think Gabby is feigning interest in Captain Stern as well. <laughs> Maybe just the cameraman and that guy over there. He didn't have very many fans either, let's not tell him that. Ooh, underwater cavern, Route 128? I think I recall going there. Sapphire? What did I say? Watch your submarine. He must have even left the key in it. Careless. You can't trust people. You don't need the key in any vehicle. Car, submarine, whatever. <laughs> so he used a megaphone to give away they were stealing it. That's a little... That's a little reckless. I would just try to keep quiet while I did that. <laughs> I guess he wanted attention while he stole it. Oh, not you again. You are that tenacious. You are tenacious to track us here. That much I will give you. But now, no one can stop us. No one. Arr! Will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City? ha 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 What a delinquent. That was... Those delinquent kids, Archie and Maxie. <laughs> Submarine Explorer 1. And another slumbering Pokemon that he's probably going to go wake up. Well, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that something has changed in Lily Cove now. Let's go check. Still, still aqua guys all over. Alright, 
I have a feeling I'm gonna have to raid an aqua hide out here. Yep, just filtrating those damn Wilmer. And look at that. We have to raid an aqua hideout right after raiding a magma hideout. This hideout I'm a little more familiar with, I think. And I will tackle it. I will dismantle it, I should say. Defeat all who dwell within in the next episode.